Okay, team, we are almost at the lower bound targets that we were talking about a few days ago. The daily time frame has closed with a bearish signal and with supply chain issues, tensions overseas escalating, it's only a matter of time before we face some type of correction. Welcome back to the channel on this Taco Tuesday. This is Arca and let's dive into GME. Let's kill him, team. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. Please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, do everything necessary to get this thing to live long, thrive, and survive. Let's go ahead and take a look at GME here on the daily chart. And to block out all the drawings here, just take a look at this, right? When you have the red body of a candle like this, right, engulfing the prior green body, right, that usually means that there is a bearish engulfing in place, and it is a red outside bar, right, because it is outside of the range from the prior day. Right. So this usually leads towards a continuation to the downside in the coming candle, right? In the next print. So you can see here that the price action post market is currently sitting at 2187 after the intraday close at 2197. Right. So let's go ahead and see what we could be doing here for a continuation to that downside. And where could the floor be, right? So let's go ahead and identify volatility versus momentum. We're gonna adjust the uh, we're gonna adjust the drawings here just to I just to show you guys that we were talking about a not 786 2145 confluent target to these lower bounds of these candles right over here, right to, the, uh, to down to that 2156. So we're almost at those targets there, right? So we got I was identifying this as a lesser probability uh, support level where we could pick up risk. Right. So remember, guys, I'm, I'm going to just remind you that I'm saying we as in you. Right. So I will remain my promise here to remain risk off from GME and AMC so that I can make sure to give you guys the analysis here completely unbiased so uh, that you benefit from it. Not me. OK, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of take a look at this here, team. This is uh, this is your uh, broader market outlook right here. Right. So take a look at this massive downside on the S&P many futures contracts, right? This is all downside that we face today. Take a look at the NASDAQ, right? This is your uh, QQQ ETF. Look at all that downside. This is your Russell 2000 for small caps experiencing massive weakness here. And we also got some downside here on the Dow Jones, right? Your inverse plays, right? This is going to be your volatility index. As long as we have upside on this volatility, there's going to be downside in the markets, generally speaking. And uh, semiconductors, completely dropping off right here, right? This is your SOX sell. This is the long for the uh, bull shares 3X lever. And these are your 3X lever bear shares, right? So you can actually see that we just completely rose to that upside, right? So yeah, we have complete bearish price action going on right now, right? So let's go ahead and now that you can identify that it is a broader market move, it's not so uh, company specific. That is, uh, yeah, that's what it is. So why don't we observe here volatility versus momentum, from shorter time frames, right? Let's go granular here. 15 minute time frame. Let's see what it's got. So 15 minute time frame appears to be identified or, or showing kind of a floor here pretty soon. It doesn't mean that it's going to, it just, it's showing that the curvature is kind of uh, maybe favoring that. So 30 minute time frame also getting a little bit of curving here. We are definitely getting some contraction. So that usually means that the uh, downside pressure is losing some of that strength, right? And uh, let's just see. Yeah, actually, we have declining volume all with that downside as well. Now, there could be a limited downside here on GME. And I guess I could go ahead and just give you a bottom zone here, right? So I would say just uh, with a very, very discretionary outlook, it's going to be somewhere right about this level here, right? I will, yeah. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this entire zone here. We've already kind of used it. And this one, too. In fact, actually, that's where the signal fired for uh, volatility versus stochastic momentum uh, condition, right? So we're still within that condition right now. So this, I think this is where price action may be going here over the next day, right? So let's go ahead and put the receipts on this and make sure that everybody's kind of aware over where price action may be. 2176 to 2155 bottom with a 2166 center bound. Uh, and it looks like a, if you're looking at price action here from a distance, right? Take a look at this. It looks like it's your inflection zone. Fe uh, penetrating this level here, right? This bottom area would indicate 
Uh, further weakness in price action can certainly start to capitulate, fi uh, figure itself into the 2106 for a validation of the resistance level here at 2158 or 2160. That would encourage bears to enter short and take this to, to lower targets. Oh, guys, I gotta, I gotta, I have to remind you about this team. We are starting the Arc Masters course, beginners and uh, beginners in trade. Uh, this is the uh, charting and trading uh, mentorship, right, for the beginners. And I want you to get in touch with me here at ArcMastersCourse at Gmail. It is starting tomorrow, okay, you guys? This is going to be the first week. It's going to be your first lecture. And I want to make sure that you can get in touch with me for that eight-week mentorship program, right? Give me a, give me an email here, and I will pass you the disclaimer. The uh, I will pass you the, the uh, course syllabus and everything, right? So make sure, ArcMastersCourse at Gmail, make a difference. Stop making excuses here, right? And let's just make sure that we can make a better port out of your port right now. Right, everything good, right? So now, now, team, let's go ahead and continue the on the analysis here. So if we're talking about GME, even still, right, we want to make sure that we can at least identify those major pivots, right? So if we if we don't uh, identify those pivots, then we're probably going to have some trouble here, right? So this is your this is your primary one here, okay? It would be in the space between twenty one fifty five to this center bound, right? If we can just go ahead and extend this, you'll see that in the fifty percent, perfectly right there. Right, so that's uh, really what I'm talking about here. 2166 to 2155 price action must maintain up there before making a move down here to the uh, areas of around $20.90. Okay, guys, if that is the case, then let's validate the continuation to the downside. What about the 10-minute time frame? Does it have upside? Oh, it does. It's very immediate, short-term upside. I think the 10-minute time frame reach, uh, reaches the uh, 2193 zone, maybe even a little bit higher, but I think that this would be the validation of resistance before a continuation to the downside. And it looks like we still have continuation on several time frames. 30-minute time frame actually expanding up, uh, a three-hour time frame, sorry, expanding, right? This is your throttle here. Think of that as your gas pedal, right? You are gassing it, and this is your steering wheel. Uh, it's going to be uh, facing downward or upward, right? So we're hitting the gas right now, volatility and linear expansion phase happening with a downside pivot inside of the gravitational zone, right, within the uh, 28th percentile. So that is literally telling you that we have some uh, further downside to go. The closure of this three-hour bar here has not been reflected with the current stochastic momentum direction bias, that is actually going to be at the open of the next three-hour bar, which could be at Euro open, 1 a.m. Pacific time, 4 a.m. Eastern time, right? So four-hour time frame here. Also, massive expansion, huge downside pivot here, very likely continuation to the downside here. And we have a six-hour time frame, volatility versus momentum firing signal right now. And the downside here, is starting to look pretty prominent within that six hour time frame. Same situation with the eight hour. I expect the four hour and six hour to cascade right into that eight hour time frame, and that's going to give us some uh, some uh, you know immediate pressure. Uh, so in order for us to make a continuation down into those lower lower bounds, specifically that twenty ninety, we must break below this twenty one fifty five to twenty one seventy six with a twenty one sixty six center bound. Okay, so if that does not get broken, price action would likely com uh, consolidate here before making a new upside, right? So let's just see how the markets react into the coming days. I wouldn't be surprised if the market's completely repaired into the next day, right? But, you know, things could happen like that. It, to today, we, we, in fact, we uh, recovered a lot of the percentages lost from the earlier part of the day, right? So let's just go ahead and make sure that, the, that we uh, risk only what we're willing to lose, guys, and make sure to uh, risk off as well, right, as we are trying to prepare ourselves for bigger and better trading using the master's course. Please, guys, get in touch with me here. This is some of the last calls. I still have around four seats left. Okay, guys, make sure to get in touch with me here, and we'll get this thing going. I think this is a pretty good place to leave off the video here. If any questions or concerns, you know where to reach me, okay, team? Let's do the damn little thing. Please take whatever I do show and iterate. Within these videos, as just a form of entertainment, as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever, ever, ever, ever. I need you to do your own due diligence, and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well. A very, very good rest of your night and or day, and I'll catch you at the Bell Manana. Adios! Let's go.